So taking one for the team here today. Every time I make a post about this camera, someone or many people, I understand, myself included, ask why they didn't make this a square sensor. Mostly because that sensor doesn't exist, but I was thinking, how can I convert a 44 by 33 sensor into a square sensor? Realized I have an anamorphic lens. So this is the Moment anamorphic adapter, which is 1.33. So if I toss this on there, we can go from 44 by 33, take 33 times 1.33, that is 44. So I can use this giant anamorphic adapter to then convert a lens that'll cover at least to a 44 by 44 sensor if this works out. So I'm gonna walk around, take some photos, and we'll see if we can make anything decent out of this combo. Yes, it is enormous, but uh, yeah, doing it because it's interesting. So obviously anyone who has used a 500 series camera, obviously the experience of using this renders you a square image. Here we have the Miticon 65 1.4, and now at 1.4 it is soft. You can get some interesting things out of it regardless. I still shoot this thing wide open and get cool results, but I realized again that I have this Moment 1.33x anamorphic adapter. So the way this actually works is we have the Miticon 65 1.4 here in the XCD mount. This just filters on to the front, or I guess it attaches to the front of the lens. And then what you have to do is line up the uh, image here. Normally with there's a little line that shows where you're supposed to line it up with this. What I'm doing is rotating it sideways so that I can expand the image vertically. And you could do it the other way as well, but the way an anamorphic lens works, uh, typically you get that kind of oval vertical bokeh. And I didn't wanna end up getting horizontal bokeh if it was going to convert to that. In doing that, then I have to also use the camera in a vertical way here, which messes with the orientation. Uh, I'm not able to use the waist level finder, but at least it's one of those things where it's at least possible. What you do is you stick the original lens here to infinity and then use this lens to actually focus. And it doesn't end up being perfect. So if you focus at infinity, it's a little bit past. Even at infinity, I was really shooting at like maybe 10 meters or so. But especially if I stop down to like F4, F5.6, even like 2.8, I was getting fairly usable images out of this between the longer focal length and the fact that this lens just I don't know, it projects a really large image circle. I did actually try it as well on the 55V here. And while the images were much, much sharper, it didn't cover the full sensor. So at least for now, it definitely fits. And again, looks ridiculous, but uh, I figured I could use the anamorphic adapter at 1.33 to stretch the 44 by 33, while uh, you're still gonna get more resolution out of simply just cropping a lens like this that's ridiculously sharp to a 33 by 33, 
if you really want to get wacky and especially if you want that really really unique look out of this on the bottom of the image you can see some of the almost kind of like smearing that's going on once you are stretching everything out and really going to the furthest ends of the lens here but i do find the out of focus elements to be really interesting uh, i would probably love to do some portraits with this uh, it's definitely not the same experience as using something like the 500 cm here and obviously carrying this thing around is a monstrosity and it's not something I would just carry around all day for anything. The fact that it does exist and you can actually make something that is uh, pretty cool looking out of something like this, sort of worthwhile. So if you're interested in more videos about this thing, I have a whole playlist up here. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys on the next one.